So I'm a transplant to Seattle. So what that means is I moved here from somewhere far away. I'm from Chicago, the south side of the city. All right, okay. I'm wearing J's for me and for you guys. Um, but I moved to Seattle six and a half years ago, and there are a couple things I had to learn pretty quickly. Number one, how to order at Starbucks. Foreign language, it took me six months to do it, but I first ordered a grande caramel macchiato. The second thing I learned, which I don't drink anymore, um, is what is an IPA? Not to drink it, but what that acronym actually means. And now I can never forget, in India, I don't know. Um, <laughs> something that's super important to being new to a city and being a transplant is getting to know people, trying to get connected. So when you're doing that, you're on the circuit, there's always two questions. Where are you from? Where do you work? I told you where I'm from, we got that, right? Chi-town, okay. Where do I work? I work at Amazon. So when people get those two questions, those answers from me, they're like, wow, so you're still here. Like Seattle or Amazon? Both. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Um, so why is that surprising? And it kind of goes down the same path each time, being, so, are there black people there? I hear life's really hard. Do you code? What goes on behind there? Ooh, must be really tough. And it doesn't matter where I am, a coffee shop, a happy hour, or a brunch. And I love brunch. And the reason I'm here is because of a brunch. I was at a brunch a couple months back, and it was called Black Babes Doing Cool Things type of brunch. So I'm like, yeah, this is for me. Um, and so there was a woman talking about entrepreneurship and her passion, and she's like, I'm the unicorn, and I'm here to talk about a unicorn experience. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I am not a unicorn. And it's one main reason, if you remember one thing, unicorns are not real, and they are fantasy. When you see one, you might want to touch it. You might even think that it's such a an exceptional thing is so rare that you'll never see another one again, and you might even want to take a selfie. Please don't have that reaction to my existence or any of my peers who are moving and, and making ways for themselves in the tech industry. Instead, let's talk about how you should react to someone who is rare in a space, and maybe that's you, or maybe you're on the other end of that conversation. So how should you feel? The first thing you should recognize is that we are people who've been taught how to dream. We had to first ask ourselves, why not me? And that's a very difficult question to answer. So you often had to have someone else believe in you before you began to believe in yourself, whether that was painting things, building things, going outside, learning how to code, which I'm not an engineer, I'm a finance major, in fact. But the next question you had to ask is, why not now? Everyone who's in that room as a rare or an only decided that now was the time is an extremely action-oriented person and decided to maybe not wait for an example. These are people that you can take a chance to think about that they've asked these questions and pushed through them and decided that it's now their moment to act. And so when you see that only in a room, take a second and also realize they know they're the only. Trust me, as I told you, I studied finance and there were maybe three black women in my private university and I was like, wow, I cannot take this as a career path. Um, but instead of recognizing the only in that microscope, we can really benefit from recognizing that there are some unique parts of their perspective that will help us branch out but also there are some commonalities that can bring us together if we remain curious about each other from a point of trying to learn rather than curious because your fantasy are magical. So take a chance and say, hey, why are we here in the same space together? How can we benefit? How can we do things and move forward in a way that's best for all of us? Because eventually you go from being the only to one amongst a few and now if I'm a unicorn, can you be a unicorn? Can we both be here and be unicorns? I'm very uncomfortable by this, right? So the idea of being a unicorn is counterproductive for all of us. We are not unicorns. There are many people in spaces that had to start as an only. And the best way to move from being an only to being a part of a group is the same way as you move from being a transplant to being a local. You need a sense of community, right? So you need to feel like this is a place for you, that you're welcomed into the environment, and that people kind of think you're cool. That's what community is. And so if you really want people who are transplants, people who are black in tech, or just a rare person in the room to feel welcome, give them a sense of community. It's pretty straightforward. Let's go from transplants to being locals. Thanks, guys. <laughs>